Today we're going to look at topic 5.3, the tangent function. If we look at our ordered pairs on our circle, and we're instead of referring to them as x, y, let's look at them as cos and sine. That way, for every ordered pair, you could go x, y, or we could go cos, sine, where y is the sine, and we could also assign a tangent value, which is y over x. So if x is 1 and y is 0, the cosine would be 1, the sine would be 0, tangent is 0 over 1, which is 0. For pi over 4, root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, y over x would equal 1. For the next point, we'd have pi over 2, x is 0, y is 1, 1 over 0 gives us a tangent value that's undefined. Keep going around the circle, 3 pi over 4, you're going to get negative 1, 0. For 5 pi over 4, it'll be worked out to negative 1, or pardon me, positive 1 because it's in the third quadrant where both y and x are negative. For 3 pi over 2, that again will be undefined, negative 1 over 0. And for 7 pi over 4, this one, now that x is positive, y is negative, you'll have a value of negative 1 for tangent. So now if we plotted these points, you're going to see that as we go around the circle, we can see that 0 will be 0, pi over 4 is 1, pi over 2 is undefined, 3 pi over 4 is negative 1, and it repeats that pattern, 0, 1, undefined, negative 1, 0, 1, undefined, negative 1, and again 2 pi is 0. So now if we plotted these points on our grid, you can see wherever it's undefined there's going to be an asymptote. That's a line that the value will approach, but never cross. So if we plotted some points between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, and extend that to negative pi over 2, you're going to see the graph is going to look like this. This is the graph of y equals the tangent theta. The period, how often it repeats, is going to be every pi radiant. The amplitude, well, since it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity, the answer would be infinity. The domain, well, it's all x's except where there's an asymptote. So it's going to be x is equal to r except x cannot equal pi over 2 plus every pi times n where n is any integer. The range now is going to be the set of all the y values, so that'll be y is any real number. And we're done. In our next example, a small plane is flying at 5,000 meters directly towards an observer. Assume the ground is flat in the region close to the observer. Sketch a graph of the function that represents the relation between the horizontal distance in meters and the observer from the observer to the plane and an angle in degrees formed by the vertical line of sight to the plane. So if we drew this as a picture, there's our triangle, there's our little plane, we're 5,000 meters above and the distance that the plane is away from us horizontally we call that D. There's the ground and as the plane gets closer D is going to decrease. As D decreases, the tangent of our angle is going to also decrease. Now, at 45 degrees, the tangent is going to be 1, because it'll be 5,000 over 5,000. But here we go. First of all, the tangent of our angle is opposite over adjacent, which is D over 5,000. Cross multiply and divide, and D will equal 5 thousand times the tangent of theta. Now if we plot out some points for this, if we had an angle of zero, there would be zero. 
for 45 degrees, it, the tangent's 1. For 90 degrees, it's undefined. So if I plot some points, this is what it's going to look like. And if I extend it into the negative, that's going to extend to there. Your assignment is page 262, numbers 1 to 8, 10, and 12.